Don't let the cute and colorful characters fool you. Pokemon battling is one of the most complex, nuanced esports in existence. It's an enormous game of chess with over 700 pieces to choose from. No Pokemon is truly undefeatable every single time. However, there are strategies so devious and infuriatingly smart as to render an opponent's entire team useless in the majority of situations. But before we get started, make sure to click that subscribe button to join our notification squad. Okay, let's dive in. Rattata. Believe it or not, there's almost no Pokemon that's quite as universally hated in the competitive battling scene as Rattata. The small rodent Pokemon doesn't even need to be within the top percentage of Rattatas in order to be a problem for other players. If ever a player sends out a level 1 Rattata during a competitive match, it's a trap. One of the most popular and widely hated strategies in Pokemon is known as Fear. Focus Sash, Endeavor, Quick Attack, Rattata. The strategy works by getting Rattata to hold a Focus Sash, which allows it to survive a powerful KO hit with a single HP point left. Since the Rattata is level 1, any move the opponent uses will reduce Rattata to a single HP. Rattata then uses Endeavor, a move which cuts the opponent's health down to a single HP. Then, the Rattata uses Quick Attack to beat its opponent before it can respond. Hence, Rattata has earned the hatred of many players for being essentially unbeatable. All those who may despise this attack, make sure you are not guilty of using it yourself. Bidoof at one point, the biggest joke in the Pokemon franchise ultimately ended up being banned from many competitive circles. While this tiny beaver Pokemon might look harmless, it has a special ability which essentially broke the Pokemon metagame. Moody is a tricky to use ability. It will dramatically raise one of a Pokemon's stats randomly each turn, all the while slightly lowering another stat. In essence, this means that Bidoof gets more and more powerful the longer it's kept in play. Particularly problematic is the evasion stat, which, if raised more than once, essentially makes Bidoof untouchable. Almost all attacks will miss, and Bidoof is free to slowly hack its way through an opponent's entire team. In the end, players realize that they could use delaying moves like Protect to keep Bidoof alive long enough to get a random boost to evasion. At this point, the creature becomes unbeatable. This strategy threatened to break the entire Pokemon metagame once upon a time. Thankfully, the Poke team listened to gamers' pleas, put their heads together and came up with a fix. However, Bidoof is still considered a real pain to any serious Pokemon player. Shedinja Shedinja is a curious Pokemon for a number of reasons, not of least for the bizarre steps that are needed to capture one of them. Shedinja has only a single HP point, which will never rise, but its ability Wonder Guard protects it against all moves. That is, except those that would be super effective, such as fire, flying, or ghost moves. Naturally, this means that when going up against many opponents, Shedinja is automatically unbeatable. If an attacking Pokemon doesn't have one of the very few moves that will damage Shedinja, this creature can't be knocked out. How crazy is that? The flip side of this, though, is that if the opponent does have a move that will be super effective, Shedinja will faint instantly. Well, that evens things out, right? There are several tricks to keep Shedinja in play, many of which involve the tricky business of switching abilities that can be achieved through moves like Entrainment or Trance. If Shedinja can gain the Sturdy ability, which is almost impossible to achieve, it will always be left with 1 HP after any hit. This means, in most situations, it's unkillable, as it only has 1 HP anyway. Togekiss. While not one of the strongest Pokemon in existence, Togekiss has a neat trick. This trick can make it utterly painful for players to defeat. This trick can also turn Togekiss into an unbeatable opponent in the right circumstances. Togekiss' ability, Serene Grace, gives it a higher chance of causing its opponent to flinch and miss a turn of attacking. Some enterprising players have realized it's possible to chain these effects using the move Air Slash. This is because it also boosts the chances of flinching in order to deal out hits 
the opponent literally cannot respond to. So in the right circumstances, Togekiss can hit an opponent multiple times without being hit in return, as the opposing Pokemon is stuck constantly flinching. But don't start signing up for every tournament out there, because this is not a surefire strategy, mainly because Togekiss stats are not really that fantastic. No matter what you do, Togekiss won't be winning any major competitions anytime soon. But when it comes to beating casual players in the most frustrating way possible, there are certainly worse choices than the final evolution of Togepi. Chansey once upon a time, Blissey, the evolved form of Chansey, was considered one of the biggest pains in the competitive battling scene. This was a Pokemon with a phenomenally high natural HP. Also, Blissey had the ability to take hits like a champ, and its healing moves meant it was damn near impossible to take down. Then, with the introduction of the Evilite item, Blissey's all disappeared from competitive play, as Chansey took to the foreground instead. The Evilite boosts a Pokemon's defense when they're holding it, that is, as long as the Pokemon Pokemon has not evolved into its final form. Chansey then has an enormous HP as well as a large defensive boost, making it incredibly hard to defeat in virtually any circumstance. And to this, the fact Chansey had the ability to learn Minimize to raise evasions, players would rarely be able to manage hitting the Pokemon in the first place. However, on the very rare occasion a move would successfully hit Chansey, the Pokemon has the ability to quickly heal. The Pokemon would use the move Soft Boil to repair damages. This meant that any opposing players had to start all over again. This is definitely a pretty effective and awesome strategy if you are the one delivering it. Pikachu Obviously, under normal circumstances, Pikachu isn't going to be an unbeatable Pokemon, unless the Pikachu in question is Dwayne Johnson. However, if a trainer uses a very, very complicated and convoluted strategy to swap Shedinja's Wonder Guard ability onto Pikachu, things will get more interesting. This also goes for any electric type of Pokemon for that matter. As we covered above, Wonder Guard blocks all moves which aren't going to be super effective. Electric type Pokemon only have a single weakness, ground types. A hold item called the Air Balloon temporarily gives an electric type Pokemon immunity to ground type attacks. This is until it is hit by another move and the balloon bursts. So if a player manages through a convoluted process of switching around Wonder Guard to get it onto a Pikachu which has an Air Balloon, then the Pikachu can't be hit by any move at all. It's probably for the best then, Wonder Guard can't be switched around easily in a normal game. The move Trance will allow a Pokemon to gain Wonder Guard, but it's hard to get this into play in a normal battle. This difficulty is the only thing that stops Pikachu from becoming an unbeatable battling machine in most scenarios. Snorlax Anyone who's ever played Pokemon is probably already well aware of just how much of a pain in the rear Snorlax can be. This Pokemon has high defense and hit points with a signature move, Rest. Rest allows Snorlax to instantly heal up to full health no matter how damaged it might have been. However, afterwards, Snorlax has a major downside which follows. Snorlax goes to sleep for several rounds, rendering him useless. So this is definitely an upside for those worried about this strategy being used over and over. Eventually though, players realize Snorlax could be boosted to be even more difficult to beat in the game. The move Stockpile allows Snorlax to boost its defense and special defense. This means that its already impressive natural stats become even more potent, as if he weren't already too powerful, right? If Snorlax is given a Citrus Berry to hold, it can also instantly wake up from its sleep after using Rest, although most players prefer to use Leftovers as a hold item instead. That is because it allows Snorlax to regenerate health each round without needing to pause for a nap in the first place. Magnemite Magnemite is another character who uses a very sneaky variation of the fear technique to punch high above its weight in competitive battles. The Pokemon naturally has the sturdy ability, which prevents it from being knocked out from a single attack, leaving it with one HP. A held berry will also allow Magnemite to instantly heal. Magnemite is also able to use the move Recycle, which will instantly restore a berry after it has been consumed for health. This means if a player constantly uses the Recycle, Magnemite can't be beaten 
by straight attack moves. No matter what a player does, it will always be left with 1 HP before healing. But what good is this strategy if Magnemite has to keep using the same move? Luckily, the Pokemon can also learn Toxic and Swagger. Both of these moves can do damage to the opponent periodically as they are poisoned and or confused. Magnemite therefore can set up one of these moves when it first comes into play and constantly heal itself as its opponent beats itself up or succumbs to poison. Now this is one low down, dirty variation of an already sneaky strategy. What do you think? Nosepass. Much like Rattata, Magnemite, and Aaron, Nosepass is capable of using a variation on the fear strategy so many Pokemon players have come to hate. This Pokemon, though, has an interesting twist on the formula, thanks to a move called Pain Split. The name alone is frightening. Nosepass has Sturdy, so it can't be taken out in a single hit. Additionally, Pain Split adds both Pokemon's remaining HP together and divides by two. This averages out each Pokemon, so the pair have an equal amount of health. If Nosepass is at a low level, this is a cheeky way to instantly drop the opponent's health while healing from every attack the opponent makes. Even if the opponent doesn't attack Nosepass, it will still be able to steal away half of the opposing Pokemon's health. Some moves, such as Sandstorm, will inflict a small amount of damage onto all Pokemon on the field every round. As a Rock-type, though, Nosepass is immune to the effects of Sandstorm. This in turn makes it a useful Pokemon in a variety of situations, and truly impossible for many foes to take down. How many of you out there think you can handle this? Smeargle. While Smeargle's stats are nothing to write home about, the Pokemon does get used in a variety of unique and interesting ways. This is thanks to its special move, Sketch, which allows it to learn any move in the entire game by observing another Pokemon using it. This means a lot of the strategies on this list and others list can be used by Smeargle. With Endeavor, it can be used in a similar way to Rattata as a Fear Pokemon. It can also learn Reloom's Spore ability to put opponents to sleep effortlessly. Any strategy a player can think of, Smeargle can be used to put it in place. Primarily, Smeargle is not used in competitive battles as an attacker. Its stats aren't great enough to make that happen. Instead, it is used as a tool to set up a more powerful Pokemon with a series of stat boosts. If Smeargle boosts its attack stat and then uses Baton Pass to switch to another Pokemon, that Pokemon will keep all attack stat boosts that Smeargle gained. In essence, this means in the right set of circumstances, Smeargle is not only formidable in its own right, but Crucially, it can be used to make any other Pokemon near unbeatable, with a series of otherwise impossible stat boosts. Which one of these Pokemon do you think is the most unbeatable? How many of these strategies have you tried? Ever won any tournaments using them? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to share this video and give us a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button so you can watch more videos from our playlist. Thanks for watching, until next time.